The Herald Standard presents the game of the week. Tonight, the boys from Laurel Highlands take on the Thomas Jefferson Jaguars in the semifinal Whippeal playoff. LH has not made a Whippeal championship appearance since Richard Nixon was president. The Mustangs started out hot. Rodney Gallagher with the first score of this semi-final playoff game. A foul shot gave them a three-point lead. It looked like LH was smoking the Jaguars, but looks can be deceiving. TJ was about to open a can of something all over the Mustangs. The Mustangs have stalled out on the side of the road. Tonight is about card metaphors. The Jaguars have lapped the Mustangs 12-3 in the first period of play. In the second, LH squeaks out only five more points. And there are two of them right there. Nicholas Egnot. This won't be pretty, so cover your eyes. The Mustangs misfire over and over, but the Jags are hitting on all cylinders. Foul shots, no good. Buzzer beater, no good. TJ has taken a 21-8 lead into the pit at halftime. Coach Hogger must have had a conversation with the team, explaining that this is the semifinal game and you are losing because the Mustangs roared out onto the court after halftime, hitting basket after basket. That was Rodney Gallagher. That was Rodney Gallagher. Nick Egnot. Keandre Cook. I swear to you, I'm not making this up. Cook, one more time. Tyvon Long finishes it off. Thomas Jefferson got a few more points, but LH hardly noticed. Another score with foul shots. It's a three-point game. In the fourth, Tyvon Long. The Jags went into overdrive, stretching their lead once again, but the Mustangs had one more speed in their gearbox. That was Tim Smith just released the clutch. It's a two-point game now. And that's a tie, under a minute to go. And that was the lead. There are four more seconds left in the game, and it's a one-point margin. Make that a two-point margin. We all remember what happened to the Uniontown boys just three days ago, and so do those boys from LH. But that ain't gonna happen tonight. The Mustangs win, and the boys from Laurel Highlands are taking a trip to the conference final for the first time since 1972. Jonathan Goots here for the Herald Standard Game of the Week with now uh, the Laura Highlands Mustangs who are one victory away from a WPL title. How's that fa sound, fellas? Great. Yeah. 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 Um, I know Coach was uh, probably more red-faced than he usually is, and I thought I was a jinx because it seems like every time I cover you guys, you lose, and I'm yeah. like, man. But anyway, enough about me. But uh, if you guys could just talk about, like, what, what did you think uh, after, you know, it was so bad in the first half, no offense? <laughs> uh, did you guys just say, like, hey, we're playing defense pretty good once we just start hitting our shots? Yeah. Uh, once we went back to the locker room, uh, we were kind of calm. We, we knew we had the game in the bag. We just had to play our game. Uh, <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a slow start. But we knew we, knew we, we had what it took to win. Yeah. Okay, and uh, Nick, uh, I'm going to ask you because, uh, you know, you come in and, um, you know, just, you know, you hadn't – got to start much and you've yeah. came in and you've done a great job and I know don't take this wrong but they may have viewed you like as the guy they could take advantage of but um, I'm sure you're just like hey my teammates are behind me and if I just play yeah. the way I can things happen right yeah his teammates got my back we playing man they got the help defense Nick's huh? team group we're a team group huh? and um, Rodney uh, I know you've been in moments like this you played in national tournaments but uh, I'm sure there's no better feeling than the crowd tonight and when you yeah. guys started to uh, really go on fire i mean the tj people were uh talking a little their fans were tra yeah, I heard, trash I heard, talking I heard. a little we bit <laughs> yeah, yeah we, they did it they did it uh the first time we played on my tj they were talking which we won that <laughs> <laughs> so i mean we're, we're kind of used to that because all the away games 
with all they do is stealing sex and trying to get everybody. That's yeah, what it is. Everybody so trying to get in our head. So we're used to it. But uh, the way we fought to get to the second half and uh, first half, like I said, we were sluggish. But we just had to calm down. The second half, we came out and got the victory. Now we're going to the peak. And I'm sure you guys don't care who you play, right? Whether it's Char Valley or Mars. It don't no, I don't. Right. I don't care. They got to play at least. Yeah, they got to play at least. That's, that's, that's the ultimate thing. Yeah. Well, Tyvon, you have you're you're kind of quiet back there. <laughs> what what do you what do you feel? And um, just overwhelmed a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh-huh. It's overwhelmed, bro. Uh-huh. And it's I just, know it's crazy. And for a couple of you guys that played last year, um, yeah, it was tough. It, it was it was tough, and uh, but you got a little help. Uh, <laughs> but um, but you know, it's just uh, <laughs> just bring home a gold, right? Yeah, that's yeah, about sir. it. Friday lights night, uh, Friday night lights, guys. Go to the night. Night. Yes, sir. Go to the chip. Appreciate all the fans that came out. It yeah. seemed like the yeah, whole sir. crowd was cheering yeah. for LA. Yeah. So really appreciate y'all. All right, guys. Well, congrats that's and uh, appreciate it. Yeah, we'll see you Friday. You, Yep, I appreciate yep. it. All right. Thank Thanks, yep. guys. Yep, appreciate you. Jonathan Guth here with Laura Highlands head coach Rick Hogger and assistant coach uh, John Smith. And I just have to say because, you know, De'Ara uh, Jenkins is one of the assistants, but I guess he gets special treatment. He's just running off signing autographs. But well, uh, He's worked too hard, <laughs> and uh, we gave him a little time off. He does a terrific job for us. Well, coach, um, you know, what, eight points at halftime. Um, yeah, we but, were hot, weren't we? Yeah. <laughs> but um, – but defensively, you know, you, you hunt in there, and um, once the guys, you know, started making shots, uh, yeah. just seemed like, you know, it was one of those things, right? Well, for sure. Um, and that's what you have to do. If, if you're not shooting the ball well or whatever it is, defense has to keep you in the game. Uh, I mean, so 13 points wasn't a, a, the ideal situation, <laughs> but obviously we weren't out of the game yet. And that was basically because of our defense. Well, it was totally because of our defense. Yeah. Uh, our offense was uh, obsolete, non-existent, whatever you want to say. And I know we mentioned before when we talked about Rodney saying, like, the moment's never too big for him. Mm-hmm. And even though I know he's a freshman, obviously he's played in national tournaments and, you know, crazy situations with people, like, you know, the place packed. Um, so you knew – you know, he would come around, but the other guys have definitely done a great job, too. Um, you know, Timmy running the show, I know he didn't have the points, but, you know, he did the things he has to do to be the floor general. Uh, Ty Vaughn with his rebounds, Nick, um, maybe somebody you look on paper, you're like, okay, yeah. that's the guy they can take advantage of, did a great job. And, of course, Keandre, hopefully I'm not leaving well, anybody out. But, you know, the, every every I guess that's why I brought all five starters out because everybody was a contributor right nick and timmy you have to look at the job they did defensively uh timmy was on their point guard number 12 very good player very good shooter uh can take the ball to the basket and uh, i I remember him getting around timmy one time uh nick was blocking it clogging it up in there a little bit uh you know uh, fortunately for us Tyvon and Keandre uh, started picking up their game on the offensive end. You almost know that Rodney's going to start to do something, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, he started getting aggressive. You know, he got his fourth foul right at the beginning of the fourth quarter, but we were going to live yeah. with that uh, as long as ride it as long as we can. Um, so. Well, I guess through all this excitement, I forgot to ask him about that. You yeah. know, he's playing with four fouls with about seven minutes to go. Um, I mean, I'm sure he knew the situation. He knows – he always kind of knows the situation. But did you tell him anything about that? Or No. Like, One time I asked him if he wanted a series off after a timeout. We were going out on defense. Um, certainly, we let him know he had four fouls yeah. right away. But then I was willing uh, – you know, I have a couple kids on the bench that are pretty good defenders. Um uh, I was willing to take him out, give him a blow for that, and even take him a time out if it wasn't a dead ball situation. But he said he was good. He, so, you know, I, he's played enough basketball. Uh, I feel like you can trust him. Now, I don't want to reveal uh, your age or when you played, but uh, <laughs> my we're, understanding. We're about to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I guess we're about to. Uh, what, uh, 71 for you graduating. So, 72. Uh, last time War Highlands has been in the finals, I know. Um, a lot of you guys, uh, you know, it's, it's. I'm sure it's pretty special for you. I, I know you don't want to make it about you, but still, getting back 
back to the championship game as a coach. I mean, oh, it's always a dream, right? There's no question about that, but more so for our, our school community and even our uh, entire community. I mean, there's been a lot of alumni reaching out uh, and congratulating uh, myself and, and many others uh, with the program. And uh, it's, it's terrific to see that because it does remind me yeah. of those days when I was a high school kid, one year out of high school, and, and how you know electric it was at this time of the year because either Uniontown or Laurel Highlands yeah. had, a, had a good chance to do something in the in the playoffs, so yeah, and I'm, you know. obviously it's great to have that back. And uh, Coach Smith, I know you have taken a lot of these kids on the uh, over the summers, and you know, playing and just you know telling them like, hey, you you got to keep working to get better. And I mean, I'm sure all this, you know, that's that's the moments that this comes to. Not not like if they would have just <laughs> taken the summer off, obviously we probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> Basketball is an all year sport. You know, you, you can't put a ball down and expect to pick it back up and play, you know. And I've had a lot of these kids all summer, all spring long, um, for, heck, since they were in elementary school. You know, Rodney, Keandre, Tyvon, Timmy, uh, Aggie, you know, the kids on the bench, I mean, we parade them all over the country, you know. And uh, absolutely, I think it makes a difference, you know. I think it makes a difference. And hopefully, you know, my vision or the dream is just to, you know, build the program. You know, build the program. So, so we uh, will be playing Friday night, 9 o'clock. Um, well, that's almost I, my bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I'll stay awake. <laughs> yeah. I guess yeah. we'll uh, we'll just see who we, I guess it'll be Char Valley or Mars. Or Mars and, yeah. and obviously, um, <laughs> as nobody that gets that moment doesn't without a, a good team. So, no, uh, they're, yeah. they're both terrific teams. Been terrific programs for a long time. Uh, yeah, hats off to so. Team. But we're happy to be there. And obviously, you know, TJ, they're, they're a quality program too. Um, one of the things I was worried about was that even though, I mean, their basketball program's been good, but nothing's been like their football program. Yeah. And a lot of those kids play football. So they've been through the playoff atmosphere. I don't think any game is too big yeah. for those guys that's played on it in that football program. And, and certainly that's what we're trying to get to. And uh, obviously our guys took a step in that direction today. And, and I think the first time you played them, the, those football players were just off their season. So I, I know you knew coming in that, hey, this is not going to be you know anything like the first game <laughs> there there was yeah. no way that we thought yeah. anything yeah. like that yeah. you know I knew it was going to be uh, a terrific challenge I just didn't know it was going to be so lopsided <laughs> the first half you know I thought we, it would be close all the way but like I said our guys showed tremendous heart tremendous heart and desire and uh, that's something that is going to help them in life because they're going to face bigger challenges in life than what they did tonight and they showed a resolve to get it done and that's 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 a beautiful thing to see all right i think we've uh, probably talked about as long as i can go well i could probably no, go no. <laughs> that's not true <laughs> but thanks a lot hey, and congrats thanks, appreciate it